ranking the best core elites in college football 25. And we are here with one of our first reveals of the year. Today, we got some of the top rated players at every single position. And today I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on every single one of these cards and how we're gonna rank them today is we're just gonna go one, two, and three. We got three players from each position. We're gonna rank them who I think is the best, who I think is the worst, and they're all 85 overalls. And now we will get it started right here with 85 overall Kobe Bryant. And the stats that I'm really looking for across the board is just like balance. And Kobe right here, here is the definition of balance. Everything on the card is 83, 83 speed, 83 play rec, 83 man, 83 zone. I think it's all really, really solid, right? Now, if we take a look at the other corners joining him, we have Benjamin Morrison right here. That is essentially the, the same exact stats. You know, it is the same exact stats, uh, 83 for everything. And I was trying to find a way to differentiate them. Uh, Kobe Bryant right here is six foot. It does say on 247 Sports that he's six foot one. Benjamin Morrison is also six foot. I think they're going to be the same exact card. And the third corner tied at an 85 is going to be none other than Will Johnson. Uh, also has that pre-order card, but this card's going to have 83 speed, 85 acceleration. So a couple plus ones here and there. Now I will say, I don't think you're going to notice the biggest difference with like the zone coverage. The zone coverage, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with how Madden works, it goes in tiers of five, meaning like 80 zone is going to play the same as like 84, but then 85 gives you a little bit faster faster reaction time and so on like that. So I think out the bunch, obviously Will Johnson is going to be number one and Benjamin Morrison, Kobe Bryant, they both are basically the exact same card. I'm going to put them both at number two because 83 is for everything, six foot height, really no way to differentiate them. Now, after that, we get into the defensive end right here. The first one we got is Kamon Rucker from North Carolina. Now this card, again, extremely, extremely balanced, 81 speed, 82 acceleration. I like looking for pass rushes that hit 88. 80 and 80 for block shed power moves finesse moves that is really good to start the year and also has good speed as well and at the end of this video i'm gonna have linked my thoughts on the pre-order players ashton guillotay i know i'm probably saying that wrong but that pre-order card was an 83 overall and very similarly statted to these 85 so that makes me even higher on him and yeah this card is really really solid when we take a look at the other uh, 85 right here we have aiden huntington now he has 74 speed 84 acceleration so a little bit slower also has a a little bit lower finesse moves now traits are actually really really important in madden and this card could actually play a little bit better than what you think in madden and also likely going to carry over to college football 25 there's a bull rush trait and there is a spin and a swim move trait okay bull rush means power moves spin and swim means finesse moves and how this card could be better is if he has that bull rush trait on yes but then spin and swim on no that essentially means he's never going to use finesse moves and we can just look at the power move rating so he could be pretty solid but out the bunch right now does look like the worst and finally right here we do have james pierce jr with 82 speed 81 block shit 82 power moves 82 finesse moves again extremely balanced rusher right here and he is one speed point faster than Kmon rucker so for me the rankings are going to go james pierce at number one we're going to have Kmon rucker at number two and we're going to have aiden huntington at this number three spot even if huntington does get that uh only the bull rush trade on yes i think rucker and also james pierce are going to be better after that, I am actually shocked that these were the top three quarterbacks because just based on like the regs roster ratings, like the regular teams, oh, none of these three quarterbacks were top three. Our first one we got right here is Riley Leonard, 85 overall, 79 speed, 84 throw power. So what I'm looking for for my day one quarterback, I think speed, if you've been watching any gameplay, Jalen Milrow is a problem because he is so fast. The defense can't really do anything. That is one of the number one things I'm targeting is speed. So speed is probably the most important thing. Then throw power and I would like 80s across the board for accuracy. I like that he hits 80 short, 80 medium, 80 deep and 81 throw under pressure. I like his balance and again the 79 speed we would like that to be a little bit higher but after Riley Leonard we also get Jackson Dart this time a little bit lower speed but he does have more throw power and also more medium accuracy. Again like I said with zone coverage accuracy it goes in tiers of five as well. Once you hit like 90 for everything you basically have perfect accuracy by the way too. 85 is actually really really nice to hit and the 85 throw power is 
is pretty nice, but he is a little bit slower. And we also have Noah right here from Arizona, and he is 77 speed, 80 throw power. And I think that right there is really, really rough. He has lower speed and also lower throw power. Not a fan of that. Will not be targeting this card day one. For me, Noah is going to be our number three option. We're going to have Jackson Dart at number two, and Riley Leonard is going to be the number one quarterback for me. Fastest out the bunch, also had really good throw power. And now let's go ahead and talk about wide receiver right here. The first one we got is Travis Hunter. So Travis Hunter, 84 speed, 85 short route running. What I'm looking for for receivers day one, obviously speed is going to be a big part of it, but I like to look at the route runnings as well. And Madden, once you hit 90 for a route running, that's as good as you get. Like that's the highest tier of animation, uh, but it goes in tiers of five as well. So 85 short route running is a really nice threshold to hit and is really balanced all the way across the board. Travis Hunter is going to be a really good card. I think someone at EA does not like Arizona. My guy McMillan right here. I've been, uh, what's it called? I'm kind of rooting for Arizona this year. I like the quarterback Noah. I like McMillan. I also like uh, Takario Davis. I'm probably butchering names I know on defense, but this card, he's six foot five, but 80 speed is crazy, man. Like there's just going to be so many players that are faster than him. I do don't think he's going to play for me day one. Like that is just killer right there. 80 speed, really? And he does hit 85 medium route running. It'd be different if we were talking about, okay, 80 speed, 85s across the board for route running, but it's like he isn't fast. I get he's tall. I get that. I like that. But I think the route runnings also aren't top in. And the final receiver we got right here is Luther Burden with 85 speed and 84 short running, 83 medium, 82 deep. Luther Burden's going to be a beast. He's kind of giving me like Tyree Kill vibes almost uh, with just like his speed, 85 speed. Uh, for me, I'm going to have Luther Burden as our number one option. We're going to have Travis Hunter at number two, and he's one of the better number two options in this list. And of course, McMillan is going to be our third option. I wish they would have started him better i feel like ea right now is hating on arizona crazy and for our last group of three right here we have running back so we have from boise state ashton genti right here 83 speed 84 acceleration the catching is really solid of 82 that's going to be something that i like on my running back uh, i will be throwing a lot of passes to my running back i think the ratings you really want to look out for break tackle carrying speed obviously being really really important so ashton pretty balanced across the board really good receiving back right there we have katron allen right here this time lower catching lower speed as well 82 speed but does have higher carrying and a little bit more break tackle but i think ashton with his speed and also his catching ability i would like ashton a little bit more and rounding out running back right here the final card is ollie gordon ollie gordon 84 speed fastest out the bunch 70 catching is okay like it's not bad he can do it of course 83 break tackle 84 change of direction i think for sure for me ollie gordon's gonna be our number one option we're gonna have ashton gt right here as number two and we're gonna have katron allen as our number three option so yeah boys this was me breaking down every single base elite i don't know if they're called base elites they're called base elites in madden but these are some of the top rated players at every single position and these are my thoughts on them and i tried to get my thoughts on what I was looking for at each position as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We'll be dropping another one really soon, going over the In Case You Missed It promo as well. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more college football ultimate team content just like this. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live in action, we're going to be streaming here on YouTube and Twitch tomorrow starting at 2 p.m. The game is going to be launching at 4 p.m. If you guys do want to see that, make sure to hit that noti bell here. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you want to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here because this was the video talking about the pre-order cards